Hey, what's up guys? This is Liam or Weagle on your Overwatch back with a new video. Today, we're going to be talking about the different changes on the PTR2 movement on the ground specifically, but how this has made some really interesting changes that are actually going to be staying as long as they don't have like big side effects. So Jeff posted this on the forums that we're making a change on the PTR servers shortly and there's no patch required and it reworks how the heroes move and accelerate. And what this did was was fix some of the issues when going up ramps and just some dodgy interactions overall and this actually changed the movement for a lot of heroes in the air and in this post Jeff says that they're happy with this and that it will make great improvements but there might be some unintended side effects that they of course want to get ironed out so what this has done has really affected heroes that spend a lot of the time in the air and it seems to have affected them upon testing if they also have a lot of acceleration within the air so Heroes like Winston, Lucio and Junkrat that can have big bursts of speed have a big difference. So for Winston, and thank you for a Reddit user who has tested this, he seems to get like an extra meter or so in his strafe. So he can turn a little bit better when he's in the air to actually land more accurately where he wants to, of course, for that combo of about five damage per year. But he can land on them as he punches them and he can then zap them. So this is a nice little change for Winston players, but won't make like a huge difference. It's just a nice little buff to be more accurate. Now, Junkrat is also very similar in this way where he will get better strafe control in the air and be able to land again in a slightly more accurate location. But Junkrat's movement's already insane and already an insane hero overall. So he may just get a nerf sometime in the future. I know a lot of people are crying out for it. And Lucio, actually, he feels like he doesn't stick to walls as much now. And I'm really terrible at Lucio wall running. And for me, it instantly felt better. Now, I'm sure if you play a lot of Lucio, then this is going to be a amazing for you and if you're someone that's trying to learn him well now is the best time if this change goes through because it just feels like he's taking his shoes off you know that feeling that's what it's like with Lucio he's just way less heavy and I think it's really good now there's other heroes that you would think it would make a huge difference to like Farah and I don't feel like it does I don't know if that's because the burst of movement she gets isn't necessarily as good you get slightly better strafe now if you concussion blast but when you do that it sends you in one direction so swift that it doesn't make that big difference you think it would and her normal movement's already pretty good and it feels very similar for a lot of people now of course there's tons of heroes in the game they can all slightly strafe jump better now they're all a bit better in the air but none of them really have a big momentum boost like tracer for example she blinks and teleports so it doesn't really affect her momentum so any hero that you like to play that can get a big burst of speed will now be more controllable and on the ground should be better on ramps hopefully interactions where you bump into walls and stuff should just be better all around any issues you see let us know the biggest known issues as of right now are that the ramps are completely broken when you leave spawn on king of the hill and that Mercy also seems to have some weird movement issue when gliding to her teammate and trying to use the momentum to go past them. So let us know any bugs you guys know of. I'd love to hear them. And also, of course, put them on the forum so that the team can try and fix them. The next thing to talk about is the one trick ban situation that keeps occurring there's been a really hefty post on the forum another one and i'm not going to cover the whole thing but i'm going to show it on screen and just kind of give you my two cents so josh engen has made like a really big post saying you cannot report one tricks it's not fair in fact it's actually griefing for you to report one tricks but then in the last paragraph says, we believe it's a team game and you basically should swap to pick with your team. What do you guys think to this? Let me know in the comment section down below. We need to know like, can we just play what we want even when we're being countered as long as we're trying? I mean, you know our opinion on this. If you're being countered and you know it, you're not trying if you don't swap. So everyone's got such a split opinion on this that I just don't even know where we go from here. Do we need a new competitive mode? Just, I'm going to six stack, okay? This change in January needs to come out and I'm just going to six stack, okay? That's my opinion on it. And I know there's a lot of people that just want to play the heroes and I also sympathize with that. So what do we do? Where do we go? I don't know. Let us know what you guys think to any of this in the comment section down below. Be sure to drop a like as it really does help us out and let us know that you're enjoying the content and be sure to hit that bell icon so you get notified when our videos go live. Be sure to have a great day as always. Take care and peace, people.